get started with our service. Get started with our service this morning. And to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. Dick, Dick, uh, Guide me over, great Jehovah, pilgrim through this buried land. Uh, Gracious, mm -hmm. eternal, and everlasting Father God, mm -hmm. 
Master, this once more and again, that you are my servants bow in your presence. Yes, yes. We come with heads uplifted and hearts uplifted and heads uplifted to you, Master. Right. We come just to say thank, thank you. you. Father God, we thank you for watching over us and keeping us all the days of our lives. We thank you for being the mighty and the awesome God that you are. Now, Master, we come this morning, Father, thanking you for allowing us another privilege and another opportunity to come out to the house of prayer one more time. I come on, we come on this day that's been designated as Mother's Day, Master. But we come acknowledging every day should be Mother's Day. We come asking that you would bless the mothers all over this world, Master. We pray that you would bless them to get the honor and the recognition that they're just due, Master. We thank you for the mothers that go through trials and tribulation every day of their lives. We pray for those right now that's standing in the gap for their families, Master. Yes. We pray for those that might be entwined with trouble, Master. Yes. Then, Father God, we pray for those that might be discouraged, uh. not, not knowing which way to go or what to do, Master. Yes. But I pray that you would touch them, Father. Yes. I pray that you would help them to look unto the hills from whence cometh their help and help them to realize that all of their oh, help comes yeah. from you, Master. Yeah. I pray that you would have thine own way with them, Master. And we realize that there are mothers out there that don't even know anything about being a mother, Master. But I pray that you would touch them right now, Father. Help them know, to know you, Master. Help them to cast all their cares upon you, Master. And help them to know that you're not a failing God, Master. Have thine own way, Master. And Father God, we come praying for families all over this world to, this morning. Father, we pray that you would bring those families together. We pray that you help them to know about you, Master. Yes. Help them to have a relationship with you. Yes. Father God, we pray that you would move in their lives, Master. Yes. Help them to trust you, Master. Yes. And Father God, I come praying for the universal church. Uh-huh. I come praying for the local church, Master. I come yeah. praying yeah. for the New Light Ebenezer Church oh, yeah. family as a whole. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that you would bless each and every member, Father. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that you would bless the homes from whence we come. I pray that you would bless our homes be homes of love, of peace, of prayer, of joy, and of thanksgiving, Master. Yes. Then, Father God, I come praying for the board of officers of this church, Father. Yes. I pray that you would unite us in your Holy Spirit, Master. Yes. I pray that you would bless us to be men of sound judgment and sound decision. Yes. I pray that you will lead us and guide us into doing those things that would be for the enhancement of your church, Master. Then, Father God, we come praying for our associate minister, Minister Ira Shields and his family, Father. I pray that you will continue to strengthen him in your word, your will, and your way. Then, Father God, I come praying for our pastor this morning, Father. I pray that you will continue to strengthen him that you would lead God and direct him in the way that you would have him to go, in the way that you would have him to lead your people. Father, have thine own way. And then, Father God, we come praying for bereaved hearts this morning, Father. We realize that somebody's lost a loved one. Somebody's head is hung down. Somebody's heart is heavy, Father. We come especially listening up, lifting up Sister Lisa Wilson this morning, Father. For we realize that you called home her husband, Master. I pray that you would embrace her and the family, yeah, Master, yeah. in your loving kindness and your tender mercies, Master. Have thine own way. Yeah, yeah. Then, Father God, I come praying for my brother this morning, yeah. Father. I pray that you would continue to lay healing hands on his body, Father, that you would heal his body and make his body whole. I pray, Father God, that you bless him to be able to take up his bed and walk. Yeah. I come praying for Deacon Albert Black, His wife, Kathy, and their family, Father, I pray that you would bless them with the blessing that you see them stand in the need of. I pray that you would give them comfort, that you would give them strength. Then, Father God, I pray for the world that we live in, Father, for we realize that man has hardened his heart against his fellow man. 
And we acknowledge that you are God of love. So we ask that you would put your love in our hearts. That we might be able to treat your people like you would have them be treated, Master. Have thine own way. And Father God, we realize this earth is not our home. We realize one day it's going to be yours to call and ours to answer. But we pray that you would be with them that lonely and that found loud. Cross us safety to the other side. Give us a resting place somewhere in your kingdom. Where we can praise your name throughout eternal ages. These and all other blessings we ask the mighty powerful name of Jesus the Christ. Our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. So say amen. Amen. Thank the deacons for that devotion. Let us stand for the hymn of, of the congregation of him. Amen. reading this morning, I would like to call your attention to uh, the book of Proverbs, the uh, 31st number of, uh, number of Proverbs, 10 through 15. Proverbs 10 through 31, 10 through 15. Verse 2 says, What my son, what, what my son, and what uh, the, the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows. Excuse me. Who can find a virtuous woman? Verse 10. Verse, verse 10. All right. Amen. All right. Verse 10. Sorry, excuse me. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband boasts 
safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. Verse 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Mm -hmm. She seeks wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hand. Mm -hmm. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. Uh -huh. verse, uh, verse, verse 15. She uh, rises also while it is yet night. Uh -huh. And giveth meat to uh, her husband, household, mm -hmm. and a portion of her maid, maiden. God had a blessing reading, oh. hearing, and doers of his word. Amen. Let us let us pray. Most Gracious and heavenly Father, God of creation, God of heaven and earth, Lord, we come to you at this time because you said ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. Yeah. Oh dear God, as we look down upon your children, we ask, Lord, that you would touch the mothers and the family of those that are here. Because, God, we know that you have all power, both in heaven and in earth. You watched over us all last week. And then at the very image of death, you kept watch. Kept us from all hurt, harm, and danger. We thank you, Lord. And then this morning, dear God, you... You touched us. And our eyes came open to see a new day. You gave us strength to get out of bed, Lord. And we thank you. We ask, Lord, that you will be with us. Guide us. Keep us and direct us. Bless these mothers, dear God. Bless these children, dear God. Oh, Father, because we can't do anything without you. So, so we know, dear God, that you are able because all your power comes from you. Bless this service. Bless everyone that are here today, dear God. Help them to be mindful that you are watching and you're protecting us. In Jesus' name we do humbly pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Giving all praises to God, to Pastor McCormick, and all ministers on the roster. Today is Sunday, May 12, 2024. 
these are the announcements for today and week. May 19th, 2024, we will be celebrating our pastor's second anniversary. Amen. Amen. Our guests at 11 a.m. worship service will be Reverend Noah Diz, pastor of Mount Olive Baptist Church in Kerrville, Texas. Our guests at 3 p.m. worship hour will be Reverend Dr. Darrell L. Harden, pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church here in Austin, Texas. Hmm? We have um, weekly Sundays at 9.30 a.m. adult class Sunday school led by Deacon Robert Bryant. Our youth Sunday school is led by Sister Paula Harris. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays at 12 p.m. we have Bible study. Thursdays at 7 p.m. we have Sanctuary Choir rehearsal, Brother James McKinley. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a reminder to please bring your monthly donations and non-perishable food items to the church to be distributed to the Central Texas Food Bank. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Save the date. June 3rd through June 6th, 2024, we have St. John District Sunday School and BTU Congress. Our host church will be Mount Zion Baptist Church located here in Austin, Texas. Dr. Dale L. Harden, Pastor, Dr. B.W. McClendon, Senior President, and Pastor War F. Jones, the Second Vice President. Amen. Mm -hmm. June 10th through June 13th, 2024, here at New Light, we will have our Vacation Bible All School. Right. All mm -hmm. right. From 6 to 8.30 p.m., volunteers and workers are needed in all classes for teachers' assistance activities. Please see Sister Paula Harris with details. Amen. Greater Mount Moriah Primitive Baptist Church presents Choir Annual Musical. Honoring the church choir, save the date, July 14, 2024 at 5 p.m. Located here in Austin, Texas on Springdale Road. Amen. Mm -hmm. Greater Swenson Grove Missionary Baptist Church, located here in Austin, Texas, under the leadership of Reverend Tyree E. Clint King, pastor. Dear friends and family, Greater Swenson Grove Church Pastors A Committee are publishing the 60th anniversary souvenir book. Our last book was 10 years ago on Pastor King's 50th anniversary. We would like to publish this book in July 2024, we need camera-ready personal business and memory uh, memorial ads, excuse me. Pictures are all welcome. As of a half a page or larger, we'll, be, uh, we'll get a copy of the book. Make checks payable to the Greater Swenson Grown Baptist Church located here in Austin, Texas. Please submit uh, all entries by July 19, 2024. Um, also, say the dates, the Sun's pre-anniversary program is Saturday, July 13th at noon at Greater Swenson Grove. Anniversary hour is July 14th at 11 a.m. Amen. Sincerely, Pat, uh, Patsy Jones, MD, Chairman of Pastor's Aid Committee. Amen. At this time, um, we're asking those celebrating birthdays for the month of June, I mean, excuse me, month of May, right. to please stand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 This time we have an announcement for us uh, from Sister Paula Harris. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm up here to make an announcement. Somebody else should be up here making this announcement. But um, I was asked to announce about we have Three graduates uh, coming out of New Light Ebenezer this uh, year. Amen. 
Chantrell Foley, I don't have, I mean, Chantrell Spence, I don't have her information um, as to when and where. Um, I know that hers is not going to be until, I think, till August. Um, but Janasia Hodge, um, my niece, her graduation is May the 23rd at 8 o'clock at the Cedar HEB uh, Center in Cedar Park. Now, her graduation um, requires tickets, so everybody can't go. <laughs> she has a limited number of people that she can uh, invite to the graduation. That's just their rule. Uh, the other graduate is Jerron Keys. Pooh. <laughs> Most of you know him as Pooh. Uh, his graduation is May 31st. He is graduating from Weiss High School at, in, in Pflugerville, and his is going to be at the HEB Center in uh, Cedar Park, but his does not require tickets, so y'all are invited to come <laughs> and support him if you want to come and make that long drive. But we are proud of our uh, seniors that we have here, and if I've missed somebody, please let me know. Those are only ones that I, you know, and, that, and like I say, I don't have all the information for the other, uh, other student that we have, but we are proud of the accomplishments of these students. And uh, I think I've already told y'all that, you know, Pooh has already gotten accepted into the University of Texas here at Austin. Amen. So he's, uh, I just say congratulations to him. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you at New Light who have supported all these children Amen. and helping us to raise them and get them through their high school years. Amen. And now I'm asking you to pray for them Amen. as they start their new journey for the rest of their life, whether they go to college, whether they stay, you know, get them a, well, if they don't go to college, they need to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever they, you know, their, uh, future is, is going to hold. I ask that you pray for them so that they will be successful in life. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Sister Harris, you wanted to know the time. Amen. At this time, will our visitors please stand? Welcome here at the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church. There is a standing invitation to you each week. Pastor Joseph C. McCormick and members of the Light are glad that you have chosen to worship with us today. We trust that something may be done or uh, may be said or done that will stretch your life. May God be with you and come back and visit with us again. Amen. Sister Irma Harvey Shannon, announcing clerk, Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, Pastor. Amen. amen. Let us all say amen. Amen. You have heard the announcements, so let us govern ourselves accordingly, and at this time we will receive our pastor. Morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Dear Mother, I'm writing you to tell you that I love you, something I hardly ever do. I never tell you enough how much I love you, and it's something I must do. I need to let you know, Mother, how much you really mean to me. So I'm telling you now, you mean the world to me. I need to thank you for all you do for me. Your unconditional love towards me means a lot to me. You've never turned your back on me, and I know it's something you'll never do. Anytime I need someone to talk to, you're always there to help me through. And anytime I need a favor, you always seem to be there too. There's nothing in the world that I can do to pay you back for all you do. When God gave me to you, that's the best thing he could ever do. So this poem is dedicated to you because I don't know what else to say. Thank you. Herman Belinsky. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Amen. 
The uh, men of the light have something for mother. Amen. And we're asking if you are a mother, this would help us if you would put your hand up. All Amen. right. All right. Oh, it mother. would help. It would help a lot. And to the mothers, we hope that you have a great day today. Amen. And also, the roses that are left over, possibly, possibly, see one of us at the door, and you could take one more. All right. Amen. All right? If Amen. there's any left. Amen. One more. All right. All right. Amen. Thank All you. Right. That's good. That's good. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Amen. Good morning, New Life. Good morning. Good morning, New Life. Good morning. Good morning, New Life. Good morning. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 I want to make sure that um, um, everybody's counted, counted for. Amen. Um, I know that uh, sometimes people don't think that if they don't birth a child, uh -huh. that they're not a mother. Now, that's not the case. All right. Amen. That is not yeah, yeah, the case. Yeah. We know that there are birth mothers and we cherish them. Yeah, right? yeah, but, but there are also but, adopted mothers, yeah. mothers, mothers who adopt children, uh -huh. mothers who are blended into families yeah. uh -huh. and take on children, yeah. uh -huh. mothers who see children up and down the street yeah. uh -huh. and look after them because they're ripping and running and nobody else is looking after them. Uh -huh. Uh, mothers who are what we call grandmothers, uh -huh. uh, mothers who we call play mothers, uh -huh. uh, as well as mothers who we call bonus moms. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. Now, if I call out a name and you fit one of those and you did not get a flower, will you yeah. raise your hand, yeah. please? Yeah. 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 Right. Any bonus moms, any play moms, yeah. any, yeah. any yeah. grandmoms, any stepmoms? Sister, who? Let's get a flower over to her. Sister Herma? Sister Bobby? Sister Spence? Okay. Just, 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 just spend, that's right. Spend all the flowers. That's right. That's right. Might as well just take the tray. You put it out there. Yeah. Who wants another rose? Yes, Come get it. <laughs> we, we don't deliver. We don't. <laughs> Can we have one for Sister Woods? She's not here today. I'll, uh, take, it just to just I'll take it to her. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Did we leave any mothers out? Anyone else? Sister Moffitt, is Sister Moffitt going to get one? Let's take, make sure we take Sister Moffitt. 
Okay. All right. She ain't gonna whip me. <laughs> Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. For all mothers. She's taking care, care of it. She's taking care, care of it. She's taking care of it. Okay. Amen. All right. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Fantastic. Amen. 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 Congratulations to all our graduates. We have three graduates this year, I understand. And uh, we appreciate them doing a fine job academically uh, as well as athletically. Uh, and they are graduating and moving on with their lives. Uh, and this is a whole different chapter for them, just like Sister Harris says. So we must be in prayer for them uh, because uh, it's a whole different ball game now. Uh, and they have to manage themselves much more than they would have if, had they been at home. Amen. All right. And a lot of times that hits you in the face and you don't even know you, you've been hit. That's right. You know, you don't even know that, 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 it's, that uh, something is on your back. That's right. That's right. And so we want to be prayerful for all our graduates. And so uh, thank you for all of that as well and all the good information. Thank you all for um, making sure that we know. Amen. 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 We're doing something a little different on First Sundays. Uh, now, we have, a, we have a, what I consider one of the best Sunday school teachers in St. John's. Amen. 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 Okay. He's right here at New Life. Amen. And so what I'm asking folks to do is... Let's do a Sunday blitz, Sunday school blitz. That's all right. And come in here on the first Sunday in the month of June. Amen. Come at 9.30. No matter of fact, come at 9.15. That's all right. So you can be ready at 9.30. Amen. So that when he stands at 9.30, we will have a much fuller house. Amen. And we'll be more supportive of our Sunday school Amen. teacher. Amen. 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 Who is, who is this guy? Who is it? Yeah, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Deacon Robert Bryant. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm also, I'm also now, I'm also asking, because we have Sister Harris. Yeah. 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 Ye
Now, have I forgot anything else? I'm being modest. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to be in prayer for our families, the Cage family, who's had experienced death recently, the Harris family, as well as Brother Jefferson. Uh, he's got a brother that's in the hospital. Amen. Uh, and then the Charles Wilson, Reverend Charles Wilson family. Uh -huh. Amen. And then Sister Gibson, she's also asking for prayer for her grandsons who are kind of up and down and uh, giving the, their mother a little bit of a fit. But that's okay. It's, uh, that's part of life. And so we just want to be prayerful for all of them. Amen. 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 We have Bible, uh, BBS Vacation Bible School uh, that's being planned. Uh, and I'm excited about Amen. that. I'm hoping that everybody here plus more will participate. Uh, it's being planned for you. It's being well planned. Uh, most of them, many of us are involved in, in the teaching and that type of thing and the Amen. planning and, and the work that's going on. So I'm asking everybody to be participative of that week. Amen. Bring, now I think we're supposed to register. Is that correct? We're supposed to register? Are we? Yes. So that we know how many people are going to come. All right. So we can prepare for that so that we have enough of whatever is needed for everyone who is in attendance. Amen. And so we need you to register. Amen. Get with Sister Harris, uh, and uh, she can get you registered and make sure that we have uh, all that in, in, intact, right? Amen. Vacation Bible School. This will be the first one we've had in, what, four? Yeah. Four yeah. years? Yeah. At, least yeah. four years. At least four years? All right. All right. I'm looking forward to this being a success. Uh, I know I'm going to be here, uh, Lord willing. Amen. And so I'm prayerful that hopefully all of you and more will be here. Call the folks who, uh, who are not coming to church. Amen. Call them to come out. Amen. The folks who we lost, a lot of them still ain't going anyplace else either. They're at home. Uh -huh. Let's call and make sure we call them. Yes, sir. Amen. Date in June the 11th? 10th yeah. through the 13th. Right. 10th through the 13th between... Six and eight thirty. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All righty. I think that's all I got. Again, happy Mother's Day. All right. Um, this is the opportunity for us to uh, all participate. Now, if our, our ushers will be involved, will be leading us in this part. This part here. Yes, sir. Right. I'd like to get this announced. On next Sunday. All right, if our ushers will come forth, we're gonna, uh, this will be tithe and offerings, and this is an opportunity for all of us to participate. Amen? Amen. God loves a cheerful giver, is that correct? Amen. Amen. Let's all, let's all contribute uh, on this morning. Amen. Thank you so much. I'll come back with the intercessory prayer afterwards. Okay, once we stand, stand from the rear, please.
it's time for intercessory prayer. Amen. Anyone who'd like to come up to the pulpit and stand in the gap for yourself or relatives, for friends, co-workers, or whoever it may be, please do so at this time. Father, I'll accept as thy name. Heavenly Father, we're here, we here once more and again, standing before your throne of grace. Dear Lord, we are, we have not arrived, we know we not have, have not arrived, dear Lord, we are sinful, Heavenly Father, but dear Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. Forgive us, dear Lord, of sins that we know of and sins that we don't know of, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we strive to do thy will, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, thank you, Heavenly Father, for another day's journey. Not everybody was able to wake up this morning to see this day and to experience this day. And dear Lord, you chose us, Heavenly Father. And so we say thank you. Thank you, dear Lord, for the New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church. Thank you. All its members, dear Lord, all who are here today, yes. whether or not they're standing, whether or not they're up front, whether or not whether they're sitting, even if they're at home, Heavenly Father, we, we thank you, dear Lord, for them. And ask, dear Lord, dear Lord, if you know that they have a need, Heavenly Father, to, to, to touch them, Heavenly Father, speak to what, speak to the resolve that they need. Speak. Touch them where they need to be touched at, dear Lord. Hug them where they need to be hugged. Yeah. We understand, dear Lord, this is Mother's Day. In, in many instances, dear Lord, folks are still somewhat grieved. It doesn't matter how long it's been. What matters is that it's still going on. And dear Lord, we know that you can stand with us and be with us as we go and walk through this process. Thank you, the Lord, for everyone who, who has had a mother, who has had a loving mother. We thank you for all the mothers, all the different kinds of mothers. Because they all showed love in some form or fashion. Thank you, the Lord, for this United States of America, our president, vice president, Send it in the house, and the Father, we ask you, Lord, that you keep your hands on them. Our governor in the state of Texas, still Lord, the lieutenant governor, ask that you keep your hands on them, Heavenly Father. Um, the University of Texas in Austin, Heavenly Father, and all the students that are there, we ask that you keep your hands on that leadership, the Lord, and, and all who are attending there, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Travis County, and the commissioner's court, and the judge, and, and all who all the staff at Travis County who serve the public. 
It's the city council, the mayor, city manager, and all staff who work for the city. And our independent school districts, no matter where they are, dear Lord, anywhere in the world where our students attend classes, we thank you, dear Lord. And we want our students to be able to go to school, we learn, and then come home safely, Heavenly Father. Yes. We raise up all houses of worship today because it seems as though people will come into a house of worship and create issues yes. that we have not seen before uh -huh. or that are not regular, Heavenly Father. But dear Lord, we just ask you to help us to be what we need to be for them so that when they arrive, we can do what we need to do. Thank you for each and every one of the individuals that are standing here, dear Lord. I don't know all the issues, but, but you do. Yes, Lord. Touch, speak to, embrace, nudge, whisper to, yell at, whatever you need to do, Heavenly Father, to get our attention. Bless this Lord. Please, Bless these folk. Please, in whatever way they need to be blessed. Please, Thank you for our choir and our music department. Uh -huh. For our ushers, dear Lord. Yeah. For our board of officers, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. Thank you for our trustees, Heavenly Father. Please, our technology crew, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Our musicians, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. Thank you for Reverend Shields, Heavenly Father. Our visitors, Heavenly Father, those who are in person and those who are with us virtually. Yes. Now, dear Lord, as we move up a little higher, uh -huh. continue to be with us throughout this service, dear Lord. Be in the midst with us, Heavenly Father. Yes. Rain down in here, Heavenly Father. Yes. And we'll give you all the glory oh, yes. and all the thanks. Uh -huh. In Jesus Christ's name, our Lord. Name. Amen.
remember when I was young laying in mama's arms she told me about the Bible and the victories and the battles that God has won she told me how to pray she taught me how to let God have his way Mama I remember when I was a child lying in my bed I would get a little sick sometimes late at night and mama would she would rub my aching head she would go down on her knees she would cry lord help my child please mama i really thank god for you thank you for all She taught me how to let God have his way. Mama, I really thank God for you. Thank you for all. cry Lord Lord help my child please Mama I really thank God for you
Here's a word from the Lord. Coming out of John chapter 13 verse 21. John chapter 13 verse 21. Reads this wise. It says, When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. That's it. That's it. I'll read it again. It says, when Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. Amen. 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 That is the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen. I'd like to tag the text today. The particulars of the Judas betrayal. The, partic the particulars of the Judas betrayal. Amen. I asked a question the other day. It says, um, has anyone ever been betrayed? Don't have to raise your hand or anything like that. You can just think about it. I think in some form or fashion, everyone has been betrayed. When a friend describes a beautiful sunset, a picture is created in your mind. The words enable you to make meaning of description. When a parent reacts to a child's artwork, meaning is created between the child and parent, which can affect the child's self-concept for a lifetime. Likewise, when a lie is spoken, a false reality is constructed that once discovered can rupture relationships. For example, when Bill Clinton, his inner circle, believed his lie that he had not had an affair with Monica Lewinsky, their minds accepted an unreal reality. Their eventual discover of the truth and resulting feelings of betrayal were probably more dramatic than those who had not believe Clinton in the first place. The power to affect one another's emotions is serious business. Our spoken words shape the reality of those with whom we react or interact with, whether we know them well or whether we do not know them well, no matter the kinship or not. We must be mindful. Betrayal. In this instance, in the story of Jesus here, we understand or hope to understand that uh, they are in the upper room and they've already had a meal and Jesus has already washed the feet of every disciple in there. And he is saying, or making a proclamation in a way to cr create some 
expectations. Notifying the disciples without calling a specific name. In the discourse, you'll find that he called, he said what was going to happen, but he didn't call any particular person's name. Amen. And as a result of what he knew was going to happen, he was troubled. Troubled in his spirit. Uh -huh. Troubled in his soul. All right. He was troubled. So my first point here is that uh, there is sadness from betrayals. All right. Yeah, there's sadness that comes from betrayals. If you, haven't, if you haven't been there, just, just keep living. Oh, yeah. There's sadness that comes from betrayal. And no doubt from this situation with Jesus. He was troubled in his spirit. And, uh, and he testified and said this. Well, what, what could he have been troubled about? Well, a couple things I, I picked out. Uh, um, Christ was sad due to the calculated and cloaked and cunning nature of the plot against him. Yeah. Sometimes the effort by which people go through the trials and tribulations by how much people go through to betray someone. Uh -huh. He said they went all through all that just to betray someone. Well, he was saddened by that. Uh -huh. Christ also had a sincere love for each and every disciple. That's right. All 12 disciples. Uh -huh. Which is part of the reasons why he was saddened because he, well, he loved them, but he also was sad because of what one had done. Amen. And was doing. Uh -huh. And was going to do. He loved Judas, and Judas was one of his chosen ones. Right. And by the way, this is instructive for us. Mm -hmm. This is instructive for us. This is an example for us. Um, he also, Christ was also losing a friend uh -huh. in Judas. Right. Somebody he walked with. Uh -huh. Someone he ate with. Someone he conversed with uh -huh. for almost three whole years. Uh -huh. They had been around each other. And someone he put trust in uh -huh. because he, Judas, was the treasurer right. for the group. Uh -huh. Trust. Mm -hmm. Man, it's, it's tough when people breach the trust. You're right. Because then you have to back up and kind of take another look at him and say, well, I didn't see all that I was supposed to have seen. That's right. Christ knows everything. Uh -huh. Knew it all before it even occurred. Uh -huh. Yet he still loved. Amen. And that's what's, what we're supposed to do as well. We're supposed to still love. Amen. This last thing is that Christ was also saddened because of the contemplation of the separation between him and God that would occur while he was on the cross. Right. He was anticipating that separation once he took on all of the sins. Uh -huh. Can you imagine all the sins of the world heaped up all over him? Uh -huh. Just sins from everybody. Uh -huh. All kinds of folk, all kinds of sin, big sin, little sin, medium-sized sin, yeah. all kinds of sin, sin before, sin uh -huh. during, and then sin in the future, uh -huh. all heaped up on him on the cross. Right. Right. He was contemplating that. Right. And you know, God don't like sin. Right. Right. You're right. God was going to turn his back on him. Once that occurred, he knew that was going to happen. And that saddened him because he, 
he really was not uh, wanting to be separated from his father. But it had to occur. Uh -huh. So there's sadness in betrayal. Uh -huh. We don't know all that people go through, but we do know that it's, it affects, it has an impact on the person. Amen. Then let's look at the, the source of the betrayal. It says, uh, he says, one of you. Christ says, one of you, when he was, uh -huh. he was speaking. He says, one of you. Now that put everybody in turmoil because they said, well, who? Yeah. Who are you talking about? Uh, this was surpri uh, surprising because w the folks who were walking with Christ had a, a great privilege. None of us had the opportunity to walk with Christ in person. We don't have that privilege. The best we can do is walk with Christ in spirit. Amen. But they had him in person. Yes, yeah. They could touch him. Uh -huh. Put on his garment. Uh -huh. uh, you know, talk to him. Uh -huh. Listen to him when he's talking to them. Uh -huh. Hear him when he's talking to the folk in the temple. They had access. Uh -huh. And this was about to be spurned. You had access with Christ, and you about to mess up. Right. Well, we mess up with Christ in the spirit. That's right. That's right. Do we not? Right. So, so is it all? So, is it a foregone conclusion that a person? who was walking in person with Christ is not supposed to? Well, we figure that the closer you are, the more apt you should not fall away. Right? We expect that. But human nature says differently. <laughs> human nature leads us differently. He got excellent instruction up close and personal. He was there watching him as he was going through and doing the various things with healing the sick, raising the dead. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. I mean, to watch that, to be in the midst and watch that happen. Oh, yeah. That's why uh, what he was, what he did makes the sin all that much more condemning. Uh -huh. He had all this in his Some authors think that the source of Judas's betrayal was a gradual corruption of his heart. Uh -huh. His catastrophe began with what they feel is greed, which led to stealing. Uh -huh. I remember my mom, my mother, used to say, "If you, y'all might, might remember this. If you, if you if you lie, you'll steal. If you steal, you." Cheat, and if you cheat, you'll kill. And if you, she didn't get too far back, but I mean that was enough for me. Uh -huh. I mean, when are you gonna stop? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and, and 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 the point was that once you once you start on that path, uh -huh. it's a slippery slope. Uh -huh. yeah. It's like walking up on. Uh, if you ever been uh, up in the north where the, you have iced. Um, sidewalks and you have to walk up a hill and the sidewalk has not been salted or not been sanded and therefore you're walking gingerly Aye. up that sidewalk and you're trying to keep your balance. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. All right, right. Ah, it's a slippery slope though. Once you, once you, well, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, no, I just, I'm not gonna tell about this little, this little lie. This, this little lie. It's just, yeah, a big lie. Hey, come on, I ain't a big lie. It's, just, it's, 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 it's a little, little white lie. Uh -huh. I can get past this one, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I y'all let me get by with that one, can't you? And then, then the next step, what? Well, I, I mean, well, I got, I got to pass that person. Yeah. Uh, I got, oh, 
Well, no, I, I got, I got, yeah, I got confidence. That's right. I got, I got a little bigger, bigger line now. I can work with now. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me see if I can get by with that. And you get, yeah, you get, you get the thinking. You got your chest all stuck out. You thinking you in control of everything, and you walking around. Yeah, I can lie when I get ready. Yeah, yeah ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Mm hmm. And then you're all into cheating right. and maybe stealing. And, 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 it, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. You're on a slippery slope yeah. toward yeah. hell. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I, I mean, I know we don't talk about hell much in the church no more. I mean, you know, because we, you know, he, he saved our life. He, you know, he's on the cross he, and all that. He did, you know, he, he, all my sins are forgiven, so I ain't going there. No, no, I, ain't going there. I ain't going. Nope. Not me. But for those who don't know, That's right. and those who have not come forward, and those who have not embraced, he, uh, you can still be on your pathway to hell. Amen. Uh, he was in charge of the petty cash, so he had his fingers. He had, you know, that five finger discount kind of thing going on. Amen. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He, he had that going on, and, and so did his attitude toward Jesus changed because of his secret sin. Now you know sometimes we can get we, we we got our own sin and we got it all you know covered up this that and then and we think nobody knows, uh -huh. and 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 we you know we walking tall and, and this that and the other, and uh, uh, it, it feels good because you know we ain't, ain't nobody know about my sin. Uh -huh. no, ain't nobody seen it. Ain't nobody know about it. Uh -huh. I'm going to walk on with it. All right. But God sees everything. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw it. Yeah. When it was conjured up in your mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When it reached from your mind to your heart. Mm -hmm. And then when it went from your heart to your limbs or to your mouth and then you committed the, the sin. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. He saw it when we left. Yeah. He saw all of that. He, right? he knows. He knows every hair on your head. He created you. Uh -huh. He knows how you think. He knows how 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 you how you uh, rationalize. Mm. He knows all of that. And so you ain't covering nothing up that he don't know about already. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Matter of fact, he knew when you were going to do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me slowly. His attitude toward Jesus changed because of the secret sin. Do you have a secret sin? Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Don't, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. I'm just asking you, do you have one? And this is for you to think about. You and you alone to think about. Do you have one? All right. Um, instead of uh, a teachable spirit, Judas had a, what, a cynical spirit. Are you cynical? Hmm? Instead of enjoying the fellowship with the, the disciples, he became distant. He was on a slippery slope. Instead of loving Jesus, he became resentful. He was on a slippery slope. When Jesus rebuked him for the criticism of Mary's extravagance, when, you know, when uh, Judas had, uh, he, he, just, he just had enough. He, uh -huh. he got full of himself and just had enough. Uh, the one of the twelve, the, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and asked, what are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? And Judas had become arrogant as well as bitter and decided to lash out. We should watch our arrogance. Uh -huh. Amen. We right. should watch our own arrogance. Uh -huh. And our own bitterness. See, your arrogance is there, and, and, and you, 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 you turn the other way, and you act like it ain't there, but the bitterness is with you. Mm. And, and that bitterness is kind of it, it's revolving. Uh -huh. You rehashing it. You know, it's like somebody, you know, uh, they, they get angry, then they, they, then they don't like you, then they, all of a sudden they, they get toward having a grudge against you. Mm. The grudge has a beard. The grudge has a gray beard. That means it's been there a while. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Yes. It's all right. And 
so A.W. Tozer suggested no man suddenly goes base or no man suddenly becomes evil. There was a gradual erosion within Judas' soul that was imperceptible. In other words, Brother Robert, you, you look at me and you figure I'm all right because I'm dressed up pretty good. Right, you know, right, right. You look at you, you got yeah. stuff on and, you yeah. know, and all this. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm checked out, you know. Yeah. But he can't necessarily perceive my issues. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No way. Yeah. He can't necessarily see inside of me. Matter of fact, I think you made that point this morning. Somebody, yeah. you can't. I can't see inside of you. Uh -huh. All right. And so therefore, I can, I don't know inside of you. No. I don't know how black it is inside no. of you. Right. Yeah. No. Right. 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 Maybe it's not so black. We're praying about it. But, 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 you know, we, we don't know. One, uh, we don't know how the betrayal, uh, we don't know where it starts at, we don't know where it, where it ends at, but we just know that you're on a slippery slope. Uh -huh. One of you will betray me, is what he said. No one blurted out and said, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I know that's Judas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I didn't trust him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He got the money. He's always had the money. Uh -huh. I don't know why you gave him the money. You should have given it to me. Yeah. I'm better than he is. You know, no one, uh, no one, I mean, they, now they were confused because they didn't know who it was. No one, yeah. They were perplexed. Yep. Yeah. And I guess Christ did that instructively because he said, I mean, he was thinking that, no, you know, if I tell them who exactly, they're not going to do any introspection on themselves. If I told him right, if I told him right off, uh -huh. brother Jefferson ain't good, ain't no good. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But y'all know it's brother Jefferson. Uh -huh. But I said somebody in here is no good. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And y'all be thinking about. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all be looking around like, you know, y'all be moving over, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> trying not to be close to the person next to you, all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because. That allows you some introspection. Uh -huh. It allows you to analyze yourself, yourself. Uh -huh. Now the problem is, is when we grade our own paper. Uh -huh. You right? We grade our own paper on a curve. Uh -huh. No flunking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We're grading on a curve. I'm gonna get a good grade now. I'm, I'm gonna you, you, you know, I'm gonna grade. I'm gonna get an A. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. I don't care if I only got one point. I'm gonna get an A. Yeah. Because we unfairly grade all, we're not honest with ourselves. No, right? No. And so, therefore, that's why we need the Holy Spirit with us uh -huh. to help us remain honest. Ah, uh -huh. oh, man, I'm not even doing. I'm not even at point number two yet. My goodness. All right, let me let me move on. Uh, the, there was a sureness of the betrayal. The prediction seemed incredible that a disciple should do this betrayal, but when God speaks, it is certain, right? Amen. If you want to go there, I mean, this was already laid out in the found, before the foundation of the world. This is already there. This is already in place. Uh -huh. And then according to Jesus, Psalms 41 and 9 says in the Old Testament, it says didn't solely apply to one person, but there, it did it incorporate the Messianic prophecy that said, he who eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. Amen. That is included in Psalms 41 and, and 9. Uh -huh. so, so, so this was already in place whether anybody knew about it or not. Amen. Whether anybody was perplexed or not. Uh -huh. It didn't matter. So there is always sureness that when God speaks it. Amen. Then there is the sinfulness of the betrayal. Uh, when it says betrayal, right? The sinfulness of the betrayal. Uh, there, remember that this, uh, this is dishonest. Uh -huh. Betrayal is dishonest. Uh -huh. Betrayal is deceit. In other words, you're deceiving someone. In other words, you're lying uh -huh. to someone. But you also had dishonesty before. Uh -huh. So you weren't truthful. Uh, and then you're, you're disloyal. Uh -huh. I'm, I, 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 you know, I have a thing about loyalty, and, and I, I cherish loyalty. But I have an issue with someone who's this law. Mm -hmm. 
I know I got to work on me about that because I need to be more loving with respect to that because everybody's not free, including me. But it's a disloyalty that occurs. Uh -huh. Coupled with the words it says verily, verily at the beginning of the sentence, this sin is indeed a very bad sin. Unfaithfulness is a serious problem. Do you have a problem? In what areas of your life are you unfaithful to Christ? Mm. All right. Mm. And what areas of your life are you unfaithful to his teaching? Uh -huh. mm. Do you know? Have you checked yourself out lately? Uh -huh. Do you care? Mm. All right. <laughs> it's not a trivial problem. Mankind has a tendency to not be very concerned about serious sins, however. Because we kind of brush it off and, you know, we'll, we'll have a different conversation and we, we, we forget about it. Uh -huh. And don't think about it later on. And we just kind of go on with what we got. I know. Huh. At, just after the, you know, things were there in the, in the upper room and Judas departed. Uh, he departed. He went out from what I consider the best company on earth into the company of God-hating and Christ-rejecting murderers. Uh -huh. He had the best company on earth he could be with. Uh -huh. God, and, I mean, Jesus and the disciples. Uh -huh. okay. Secondly, he went out from the rule and the service of the Son of God into the rule and slavery of the devil. I know. Have you ever went from God mm -hmm. or from Jesus to the devil? I'm just asking questions. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I'm just asking questions. Uh -huh. He went from the place of light and hope into the night of darkness and despair. Uh -huh. Then he went from the offer of eternal blessedness uh -huh. into a place of eternal doom. All right. I mean, a place that was heading him to heaven, but he was going to a place that was heading him to hell. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He apparently did not go out as one in rage or one that was angry. He went out quietly and he was uh, calm and collected as one who had something more important to do, which was to get his money. He wanted his dollars. Uh, but in the turning away from the love of Christ, as this particular moment, he was rejecting his last chance of salvation. Mm -hmm. He refused Christ's place. There is nothing for him now other than his own place. When you refuse Christ, the only place you got is your place. All right. And your place ain't protected. Uh -huh. And your place ain't holding up nothing. I hear you. His enemies, but every betrayer, I mean, he, he, Christ has in, but every betrayer is guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Uh -huh. You're guilty. The blood of every Christ rejecter will be on his own head. All right. You will not come to me that you might have life. Uh -huh. That's what he says. In summary, uh, we've talked about. Um, the sadness of the betrayal. We talked about the source of the betrayal. Uh, we talked about the sureness of the betrayal, and we talked about the sinfulness of the betrayal, and the fact that he sashayed himself on out the upper room from light to darkness, from salvation to death, all in the midst of corruption, all so that he could have his money all because he was on a slippery slope. Had he reached for Christ before he left the room, Christ could have saved him. All right. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that. And so it happens now. We reap the benefits of God's care every second of every day. Yes, yes. We cry out to God when we are in need. But then we, do, we don't fix ourselves on Christ once we are 
out of trouble of the troubles of life or once we are back on the peaceful shores yeah. of life yeah. or yeah. once we are uh, out of the flames of life. Yeah. All right. yeah. we, we don't really refix ourselves and focus. Hmm. Uh, what will it take for you to be fully persuaded? Uh-huh. All in. What hundred percent Christ? Mm-hmm. Yes. Total in your commitment. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's it going to take? Hmm. All right. Hmm. Are you saying you, you can be bought, mm. or are you saying you appreciate just knowing where you are right now, and that the fact that if it doesn't do anything else for me ever again, uh-huh. I'm more than I'm more than blessed. Yeah. He's done enough. Yeah. All right. yeah. We got to remember that Christ went to Calvary. Yeah. Uh-huh. He took on the beatings. Yeah. Yeah. He took on the interrogations. Uh-huh. He took on the old rugged cross yeah. up that yeah. up that hill, and uh, he took on the nails. Mm-hmm. He took on the stakes. Uh-huh. He took on the humiliation. Uh-huh. He took on the hatred. Uh-huh. He hung there. Uh-huh. He died there. Uh-huh. He was buried in a bar or two. Uh-huh. And he was there to rest Friday. Rest of Friday. Uh-huh. All the way through Friday night. Uh-huh. Early on Saturday morning, he was there. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, he's still there Saturday noon time. Uh-huh. Saturday afternoon, he was still there. Uh-huh. Yeah, Saturday evening, he was right there. Right. Late Saturday night, he was there. Uh-huh. But early on Sunday morning, early, early on Sunday morning, early. he got up with all power, oh, yeah. heaven and earth, oh, yeah. all in his hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Because he came for you and I, Amen. for our sins, Amen. in spite of the betrayal, uh-huh. in spite of all the things that happened to him. He was on course to make sure that he came for us. That he would take on the sins of the world because Uh we couldn't do it ourselves. We ought to be thankful. If you're not not in God's camp today, you ought to get in God's camp today. The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. Amen. Amen. may be interested in joining New Light Everdays Baptist Church. We'd love to have you. New Light Baptist Church is a good church. If you'd like to be baptized, we'd love to be able to baptize you. I'd love to baptize you into the faith. If you're looking for a church home, it's a good church home. You can be baptized and be, as well as you would like to be under watch care. We'd love to be able to do that as well. Are down here for you in case you'd like to come forward. Please don't be shy. Tomorrow's not promised. While we sing, we hear a song from our musicians as well as our choir.
or reject. We hope you know where your eventual end will be. Amen. Amen. I think that's all for us for today. Amen. Any, yes. any other announcements? Yes. Anything I'm forgetting? All right. I purposely cut across the field so that I could get us out early because I know y'all want to go and Amen. do what you need to do. Amen. 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 Amen.